Good morning, athletes. Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for Thursday, August 6th. Our warm up today is two rounds, 30 seconds each of the following movements mountain climbers. So, down in that plank, um, because this is a warm up, we can uh, step into these a little bit slower, alternating, or we can hop our feet if we're uh, just ready to go. 30 seconds mountain climbers, getting your knee to your elbow in these. Then we're gonna come up and do 30 seconds jumping jacks. Uh, remember if impact is an issue for us, we can do step out jumping jacks. 30 seconds bootstrappers, step into a nice uh, wide squat stance here. We're gonna bend down, we're gonna wrap our hands around the front of our feet. So it's really important that your balance is between the ball of your foot and your heel. I don't want you guys stepping on your fingers here. So really work on shifting your balance back in these bringing our hips down into the bottom position of that, and then straightening our legs, but keeping a grip on our hands the whole time. Then we've got close stance squats. So feet together, send your butt back. Your chest is probably gonna drop a little bit more in these. That's okay, just try and stay as upright as you can. Then the next movement is pistols. Um, this is a good opportunity in a warm up to work on our single leg squat or pistols. Um, even if we can't get full depth, it's opportunity to work on our balance here, bringing our leg out in front. So 30 seconds of alternating pistols, but again, just getting as deep as we can. If that's not happening for you, we will do split squats. So sending one leg behind you, but staying over your front leg as you do um, your squats here. And the last movement is 30 seconds of toe touch and jump. So bend down, touch your toes and hop up. Okay. Two rounds of that, 30 seconds each. That is your warm up. Workout today is called Malinois. It is a 16 minute AMRAP of the following movements. These are all body weight movements, okay? So a good opportunity to move quickly, get a lot of rounds and reps here, but it is high repetition. 24, good morning. So feet together, uh, right below our hips, soft bend to the knees, hinging forward. Really focus on squeezing your shoulders, arching your back. We don't want our back rounding here. In your good mornings, you don't wanna bend so far forward that your shoulders drop below your hips. If that happens, you will probably be rounding your lower back. So uh, shoulders just uh, as deep as we can get, just above the hips. This is a really good hamstring stretch and then squeeze our glutes as we come back up. Next, we're gonna do 24 air squats. So just a reminder on these, feet at shoulders width, okay? Toes pointed forward or slightly out. We don't want them way out here. Push the ground apart with your feet. You're gonna feel the sides of your legs engage uh, in your quads, okay? Probably all the way down, actually. Initiate the squat by sending our hips down and back while keeping our chest nice and tall. I don't want our shoulders to drop forward here, okay? Something that can help with that is bringing our arms up um, kind of like we have our hands on the top of a ball that's going to help engage our back. And then bracing, squeezing your abs, working down to full depth, which is hip crease just below uh, the tops of your knees, okay? As we come up, drive your knees out a little bit, squeeze your butt a little bit. It's going to help you come up out of those air squats. 24 glute bridges is next. So on our back, feet up close by, but still about that shoulder's width and pushing our hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing our glutes, squeezing our hamstrings, trying to get our mid back off the ground here. See if we can balance just between our shoulders, our shoulder blades and our feet. Russian twists, again, these are unweighted. We've got 48 Russian twists. So feet up, I like to cross my legs here a little bit, knees bent, okay? It's gonna help complete this movement uh, more easily with less pressure on my back if I'm sitting a little more upright versus leaned back here. And then this is not moving our arms from side to side from the floor, but it's actually a twist with our abs, a full oblique twist. So since we're doing unweighted, I put my hands right in front of my chest, elbows out, and I am rotating actually more of my elbow to the floor than my hands, okay? Um, we can scale these by bringing our feet to the ground or putting our legs straight out. 48 Russian twists and then 48 high knees in place. Uh, you can go quick on these or you can go slow, but Work on really bringing your knees up high. If it helps, put your hands out in front of you like a target and bring your knees up to your hands to ensure that you are getting high knees here, even if we're going slower and doing high knee marches, okay? Um, we want that full range of motion. We want that pull with our abs, our lower abs, and our hip flexors to bring those knees up. Um, we use these muscles in everything we do, um, in walking and climbing stairs, things like that. So um, working that full range of motion is gonna help to strengthen that. 
Those are all the movements. I'll run through them one more time. 24 good mornings, 24 air squats, 24 glute bridges, 48 Russian twists, 48 high knees in place. That is one round. We are going for 16 minutes. So as many rounds and reps as you can get is gonna be our score for that today. And that's Malinois. Our accessory work is pistol practice for five minutes. A lot of variations we can do on this. Um, if we are still developing single leg strength, we can practice uh, split squats, um, similar to what we did in that warm up. So a leg behind us, but staying over our front leg, similar to a lunge, getting as deep as we can, and then coming up to full extension. Uh, we can do um, those uh, assisted pistols with our foot, with our one foot on the back of our supporting foot that kind of helps us to balance. The next thing we can do is bring our leg out in front, practicing full depth on there, getting as deep as we can, uh, elevating ourselves off a box or off a plate. I'll try and demonstrate these as well. Um, it allows our foot to pass a little bit lower, our foot that's out to pass a little bit lower than our other foot. It can really help get into the depth there. And then the last one that we can try is pistols to a box. So it gives us a target to sit back to, we can rest and come back up. But the goal is to just tap our butt and come back up. So a lot of variations there. Play around with it, see which one works for you. You've got five minutes. Uh, if you wanna spend more time in that, go ahead. Our stretching is three sets of 30 seconds of the following, alternating upward dog to downward dog. So that upward dog stretch, hips on the floor, arms extended, really good stretch for your abs, for your back, staying active with your shoulders, and then sending your hips up and back into that downward dog pose. 30 seconds hold in the bottom of a squat. Holding in the bottom of a squat is a really good opportunity um, for short periods of time to work on that active hold in the bottom of a squat. So not collapsed all the way down where our back is starting to round and our butt's basically on the floor. Just keeping your hip crease right below the tops of your knees, pushing your knees out, working on staying nice and tall with your chest and making sure your balance is not up on your toes, but it's actually between the ball of your foot and your heel and more towards the outside of your foot than the inside of your foot. So pushing the ground apart. And then we'll finish with 30 seconds of bootstrappers. So once again, grabbing the fronts of our feet, bringing our hips down and then back up while we're holding onto the front of our feet, trying not to step on our fingers. That is our stretching for Thursday. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching as always, and we will see you tomorrow.